I have to ask, beg and plead for the police to take the details, but they, they never checked. We're waiting for the police, are we? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. That'll do, mate. Yeah, yeah. When we finished the shooting here, and people came to us uh, up here while we were going to the cars, and they started shouting and, you know, doing, saying, oh, you're doing wrong, and you are killers, and all bad things they're saying about us. Really? Yeah. You know, this is real. What? Don't respect the killing gates. You're intimidating all the locals. So enough. You're getting up on it. You need to get a f***ing habit. Okay. Barry Swain is a British plumber who enjoys his pest control. He has a shotgun license. He has written permission to shoot Canada geese on this livestock farm to protect the pasture. By law, that's what he needs. So what's the problem? The problem is that hunters and shooters are being seen as fair game. And since September, Barry's life has been turned upside down. The attacks on my family, on my business, on my life feel like uh, there's no urgency uh, uh, to stop this or, or uh, prevent this happening. If they'd have stopped it from the beginning, uh, there was a handful of people. I'm not happy about this, but the police are taking forever. I've made three or four phone calls. I've had to make a special trip. Uh, basically, the radicals are following me everywhere. Uh, naming my um, bands and my business and the police do nothing about it. Over the past five months he has had to endure being arrested and left in police cells for five hours then released without charge. So you arrested me with oh, no, uh, no actual proof and no, 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 no written no, proof. Listen, no, listen no, proof. no we, we do, no, no we do, we do have, we do have some proof and that's the information we're acting on this more the time. If we didn't we didn't approve you wouldn't be arrested that we'd go off and we'd seek clarification. Pursued and threatened by anti-hunters both face to face and online. Featured on BBC TV News and news websites. And to cap it all, a local MP has written to the Secretary of State for the Environment asking her to find a reason to stop Barry going about his lawful, legitimate activity. The farmer himself, he's had, from what he advised me, three to four guns chased off the land through false accusations to the police. And, and that's why when I come here, I come here with my, basically my hands open saying, look, this is who I am, this is what I do, uh, and this is the reason why we do it. They're a pest. A few days after first shooting the geese, Barry found his Facebook post from that morning on BBC Look North's regional TV news bulletin with an accompanying online post. One of Barry's family recorded the piece off the telly in their sitting room. From that moment on, it was open season on Barry. They have targeted his plumbing business. There's been a coordinated effort to destroy his review status with false listings. It's cost him thousands of pounds, and there are many, many disgusting posts threatening him and his wife. I'm contemplating on even folding the business uh, because of this. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. This day and age, this is untrue. Names really do hurt you. We asked the police what they've been doing about it, but our emails to the constabulary media team have been ignored. Things came to a head when Barry was arrested for armed trespass on his permission. Ironically, Barry was the one who called the police as the antis were blocking his route back to his van. It appears the police were acting on a belief that the landowner had revoked his permission. It never has been revoked, but this post suggests a member of parliament was involved that morning. The only MP who has been openly critical of the shooting is Conservative MP for Pudsey in West Yorkshire, Stuart Andrew. He is campaigning hard to stop pest control going ahead. We contacted Mr Andrew a number of times for comment, but nothing. Barry's own MP, Richard Bergen, Labour MP for Leeds East, has not replied to our emails either. If Stuart Andrew is your MP, perhaps you could get a response from him on this matter. 
On the day we went to see Barry, he had requested a meeting with West Yorkshire Police to discuss his arrest and to see what they've done about the threatening social media posts. In short, not a lot. But rejoining us outside the station, he receives news. The farmer has just revoked the permission. Or has he? What's just happened? Um, I've just had a, a phone call from uh, uh, Murray Woodward uh, of Basque and uh, the uh, police have uh, contacted uh, today uh, Sergeant Baldwin uh, uh, Mr North. Now we don't know if it's Mr North the son or Mr North the dad. That's the farmer. That's the farmer, uh, is the dad. And uh, my permission has been withdrawn uh, as from today and uh, if I turn up on the field, uh, they will um, basically uh, arrest me and prosecute me. Uh, uh, they're harassing the farmer. Uh, uh, they are so desperate to get the permission withdrawn. Uh, the farmer hasn't requested this. The farmer hasn't sent or, or requested the police to get involved to withdraw my permission. Uh, the farmer hasn't uh, contacted me uh, to let me know that my permission has been withdrawn. So. Um, I'm going to see within the next hour or so, uh, possibly go and see the farmer and find out uh, and see if we can speak to him and find out what's going on. Off camera, the farmer confirms to us he has not revoked Barry's shooting permission, even though it's costing the family dear. They too are being abused, but they need clean, green pasture and if they don't get the Canadas off the farm, they will lose thousands of pounds. If the police manage to stop somebody like me doing something completely lawful and legal, there's something seriously wrong with this country. And you're trespassing. You're committing a criminal offence. Barry feels like it's him against the world. He is a law-abiding citizen, being threatened with violence. He has a shotgun licence, so he has to be a model citizen. And he has found no support from police or politicians. That is just not right. Please send this film to your local MP so they understand the discrimination the shooting community faces. And, who knows, maybe they're friends with Stuart Andrew.